What's poppin' YouTube? Um, we're gonna do a little piece tonight. You know what I mean? It's gonna be it's gonna be short. It ain't gonna really be too much. It might be a little longer than expected, but I wanna do a little 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 touch up on what's known as monkey branching. Monkey branching when you're dealing with a narcissist is just the same as straddling the fence between two relationships. For example, it's when you're engaged in a relationship like with a narcissist, you're going to see that <clears throat> the individual is going to do certain things that's going to be out of character. A lot of times when a person monkey branches, it'll come in between the stage stages of devaluation and discard. In between the devaluation and the discard, the person is figuring out, trying to figure out if the relationship is going to work to the degree that they're going to be able to actually replace you with a new supply. Now, the new supply is the person that they're training and that they're grooming to, to, to actually take your place, to see if they could be like you, walk like you, talk like you, act like you, just to get whatever remnants of the last relationship transferred over into the new relationship to try to create a situation where it would seem like it's a combo, you know? So what they do is they are in a relationship, but they're about to get into a new relationship. So they're holding on to both relationships. So they, now they got a, a relationship that's going into the middle of devaluation and discard. And then they have a relationship that they're starting that's going into a stage that's known as love bombing. So that's actually the same thing as a person standing in between two walls and holding one wall, one arm on one wall and one arm on the other wall. Just for an analogy. So now you monkey branching. So you're going to swing on from one wall or let's just use tree. One tree, which would be a form of a relationship to another tree which is symbolic to the form of another relationship so what they do they swing from one relationship to another relationship directly without ever taking time off to heal to do any correction to do any self inflection to internalize anything that's going on around them they'll go right into a new relationship they won't think about if the relationship is best for them what's to be expected of the relationship or anything of that matter. The only thing that they think about is what they feel may be possible to obtain or achieve from that relationship, but it's never nothing positive. It only extends to the, to the point of material things. It's never to the point to where it's something that you got to sit back and reflect on and think about the hard work that's going to go into accomplishing the things that you're going to get. They don't think that when they get to where they get to from point A to point B, monkey branching from one relationship to another relationship, that there's still going to be work that needs to be put in. In any relationship you go into, there is going to be work that needs to be put in. So. The renewal after the renewal after the renewal, trying to keep things in a situation where you don't have to sit down and reflect on the issues that you carried over from your previous relationship into a new relationship that you may in. Those things are necessary. Those things are things that can only make your chances of getting into a new relationship much more healthier. You keep it to the point to where, you know, you learn and you grow from each relationship that you've been in. When you're going from one relationship to another relationship, you're not even taking chance to process anything that you went through in a relationship. How the relationship went wrong. Is there anything that you could do to maintain? Like you don't you don't you have to do that when you're going in between relationship to relationship. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Or you destined to fail because you're going to bring the same dumbass attitude from one relationship into another relationship. You're not even thinking about how certain things, you know, really, really, really alter your life. You know, when you start getting into these situations with these people and you start going from relationship to relationship to relationship, monkey branching from this person to that person to this person to that person and not taking time to reflect. 
the amount of negative energy you're picking up going from body to body to body to body to body to body and not having your spiritual filter on. You're just like a magnet for dark energy. Because sex and all of the, the carnal things, those are lower vibrational things. You feel me? So that type of energy and those type of acts, if it's not done in, in the name of like true love and virtue and it's not in its purest form, it's no way that you can possibly have a loving relationship. Because at the end of the day, you're a human. And as human, we're designed to be social. Feel me, we're designed to be social. But we also have the learning experience that we go through in life where you get at a certain point in age and then from the things that you learned at home, you'll take your your things and put a spin on it to fit the times of where you are today. You know, that's very, very, very important. You can't go from one relationship to another relationship immediately and expect for that relationship to be healthy. The reason why I say that is because if you're dealing with a narcissist and the narcissist has monkey branched from one relationship to another relationship during the course that you're going through the devaluation before the discard, nine times out of ten, that individual knows you, bro. Not personally, but he knows of you. So if a person knows of you and they're allowing and aiding and abetting a person, you feel me? You hear me, right? Aiding and abetting, you hear that shit, right? A person to go from one relationship directly into another relationship without sitting down to the table and having formal closure. This is what the narc wants. They want, they, they, they got to leave the door open, at least to stick their foot in. You feel me? At least to stick their foot in. At least, at least. Once you give them, once you move from a relationship without having closure, which you're never going to get dealing with somebody because they're just going to avoid, they're just going to avoid everything. Everything, 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 everything. And that's going to lead to another topic we're going to talk about after this, which will be in the next episode. It's called Blame Shifting. So we're going to work on that. But right now, I want y'all to know that monkey branching consists of moving from one relationship into another relationship without thought or time to reflect and take time to even internalize the mistakes that you made from the last or previous relationship and move directly into a new one. Those things can only be harmful for your present relationship. There's no shortcut around loving someone and someone loving you virtuously, being honest with you, being truthful, and being loyal and just being open as a person when you're in a relationship. It takes work for you to be able to do that. Because through that, you learn that most of your life, when you was in a lot of these relationships, that the reason why these relationships fail is because your pride and your ego was too big for you to tap into self and get in contact with your spiritual and your soul side for you to be able to communicate. Everything can't be about control. But when you monkey branch from one relationship to another relationship, put one individual in between devaluation and discard and put another person in the beginning stages of the love bombing, things can be a little complicated, especially if you have somebody with a lot of tenacity. You understand? Because they're, they, they're, they're not going to really be too concerned about the closure. Only thing they're going to be be concerned about is a way to make space for you. Because nine times out of ten, when a person monkey branches from one relationship to another relationship immediately all over like that, you never know an individual until you live with an individual. And nine times out of ten, a narcissist always calculates wrong. Because they see with their eyes, not with their heart, you heard? They eyes. It's their eyes. You feel me? They see with their eyes. They don't see with their heart. They don't have the capability to see with their heart. It just wasn't programmed and built into them as a child. You know, those are things that got to be built into you as a kid. You got to be nurtured. You got to be loved. You got to be hugged. You got to be spent time with. You got to have these, these conversations with 
whoever your your your, your authority figures is in, the, in your life when you're growing up as a child those things are necessary to be in place this is how you grow this is how your brain gets stimulated from the generations before you if you come out and you don't have that type of stimulation you're just going to pick up whatever you pick up you're going to raise yourself and feel like whatever you do is whatever you do and it is what it is but it don't make it right i want to thank y'all for sitting down and you know tapping in and learning about what monkey branching is we're gonna get into a few more topics you know because this narcissism thing this it um it actually runs the gamut with a whole bunch of different terms so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna label the certain terms that you can familiarize yourself with and actually get a little closer to it this folks this is for the bros and the sisters you heard well just so you can get a little more acquainted to narcissism being more than just a slang that you say to somebody trying to be sarcastic, you know? This is really a disorder. Because in the hood, that's all they do. They just toss it around. It'll be something somebody say, oh, this person narcissistic. But you could tell by the way they use the word and by the way they even said it. Was it narcissist or narcissistic? One is an adjective. One is a, uh, a noun. You, you know, like you can tell. You feel me? If a person really did this, did the uh, studying on this and all that. You feel me? Because they'll be able to break it down. And it's important for me to be able to break this down to y'all because this shit is going around in the hood at a high rate, you heard? And the last thing you want to do is find yourself in a situation where you got all this shit going around, on around you, and you're trying to figure out what's going on around you, and you don't know what's going on. You feel me? Now you confused. So now you walking around every day mad, tight, and stuff like that. You feel me? And put yourself in a situation where anything could possibly happen, you know? I don't want to see my brothers and sisters go through that shit. I already seen the sisters go through that shit for mad years. Like, I didn't even really know what that shit was, though. You feel me? Like, I, I didn't even know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, that was even a thing. You feel me? But that's really a thing. You know? So, to next time, y'all take care, man. Y'all stay safe. You heard? And you already know. I'll be you. You be me. Red Cloud TV.